I had a date with Mickey Rooney, for example. I had called, uh, you got time for a Mickey Rooney story? <laughs> I had called, uh, what the hell was the guy's name who managed him? Red, uh, Red uh, uh, Doff. Doff. Red Doff. And uh, I said, I've got an interesting role for, you know, we're going to cast for uh, television. Would he be interested in a series? Yeah, I'd be interested in a series. What's the role? And I said, well, it's something I'd like to discuss in person. And he said, uh, well, Mickey's right here. You, you, you can discuss it with him in person. So Mickey gets on the phone. And I've not, I had never met him, but he calls me Norm. Uh, and, uh, and he says, well, you know, what's the idea? And I said, uh, Mickey, he said, call me Mick. I said, Mick, uh, I'll be coming to California anyway in a few days. I'd love to meet you and tell No, tell me you can tell him Mick anything. So I told him, this is about a bigot. <laughs> it's about a guy who calls them spades and, uh, and kikes and spicks and and he hears this and he says, they're going to kill you in the streets. Norm, they're going to kill you. They're going to shoot you dead in the streets. Now, you want to do a show with the Mick? Listen to this. Ex-Vietnam vet, blind, private eye, large dog. That's all he said. <laughs> But that's, that's the show he wanted to do. We have to pause there, I'm sorry. <laughs>